Hello friends, we're having a closer look as promised here at One Band Man Research and Development at uh, the first of our Love Wagon setups, which is the Novation Launchpad and an iPad running one of the Novation programs. Oops, that reflection is annoying. And there's our love wagon and in all its pristine glory. And we recycled a pair of large milk crates. And we've sat those milk crates on this foldable dolly, which isn't a great one. I'm not sure what it came with originally because I found it in the trash. But uh, really all you need is the milk crates and then a couple of bungee cords which are blocked right on to this. I wish it was a little longer, but say it would be. So the bottom crate blocked at the handle, one cord going around, top crate, same deal. Um, milk crates are awesome. You can put a piece of uh, strapping through those holes and make shells do all kinds of stuff but what I've chosen to do is use cable ties for anything I needed to keep stationary uh, and the lightest board that I could find this is a Samson mix pad 4 so it has four channels that are more or less discreet to have preamps and those get eaten up by my chaos oscillator and my chaos pad here. So this mini chaos pad takes the signal also from uh, let's see. Anything that I need to fuzz distortion. Now, everything, iPad going through mini chaos later, uh, chaos later, excuse me, mini chaos pad. So we're eating up first four channels. This is a ganged channel that takes all of those. So we got three instruments there. And then uh, I'm also bringing in my guitar signal in stereo through the tape input. All right, and I'll show you down at my pedal how that works. So we combined our stereo guitar input, or we'll call that our traditional instrument input from the pedal board. That's going to go in. Let me get rid of the Khmer ghost sort. A little distracting. Um, with these two stereo signals now, I've gone in here to our little mini board. You don't need much. I was using a DJ mixer before with two stereo channels, but this is a little kind of neater. 
Uh, and then that is going in stereo into a big chaos pad. So anything that's going on over in this other world can then be mutated and we can also have the uh, synth instruments that are built into this pad too. So if I want, uh, we can you know, use the rhythm tracks, uh, the rhythm instruments. This, this one over here has its own rhythm stuff too, the K-Oscillator. So we got a lot of different uh, potentials for rhythm sounds right off the bat uh, <clears throat> between whatever the iPad's doing <clears throat> uh, and then K-Oscillator, Chaos Pad. Um, we can run, and <clears throat> I often do, the K oscillator, which has a whole, you know, its own rhythmic capabilities. As well as, you know, its other powers of... So this is an eye clip, which uh, I was trying to set up so that it took a little pressure off the adapter there, but it's not working very well. So I'm going to free float it again, but uh, that's a little bit of our instrument section. And then that stuff now, since it's all going through this K oscillator, where I'm, excuse me, chaos pad, where I can mess with it as the final stereo destination before it hits the computer interface. Now, the great thing about this TC, uh, I think it's called a Fire or something, I don't even know. It's a FireWire-based computer interface. It has four inputs, four outputs. Really cool thing is that it has this mix uh, knob here where you can set the volume of your analog signals that are going into it relative to whatever is coming out of the computer. So all my soft synths and computer samples, um, none of which I'm using right now. We're all analog worlds right now. But those can be adjusted uh, volume wise. And just as importantly, uh, we can use it without the computer. So right now we have no computer hooked up to the FireWire cable. <clears throat> We're just using the interface as a way, really, for me to get a final volume knob. Um, because uh, we're just going into it in stereo and coming back out in stereo. Uh, and then the other role, of course, is that whenever I want to record, all I have to do is hook up that FireWire cable and I'm good to go. Um, so, uh, after we've grouped our four stereo signals which would mean whatever's happening in iPad world going through mini chaos pad, which is then going into the mixer, in addition to the stereo signal from the mini K oscillator, which is then going into the mixer. And our guitar signal. Now our guitar signal goes like this. We have a cable always hooked up right there to this switch box. And then usually I'll plug a lap steel or whatever I feel like rocking a bass. Could be anything. Into the other one. That then goes to the tuner, which sends it to a booster, which sends it to the delay lab. Delay lab, the Vox product, is cool as a moose. Uh, it lets me tap in delays. I use it religiously. That then comes out in stereo still, and uh, I'm I think a longer cable for it, but it, it then gets plugged straight into the uh, tape input over here. I don't mind not having a volume control for it. When you come into a tape input like that on a board, normally you won't, but I have the volume control on the booster. 
<clears throat> which uh, is enough for me to adjust. And I actually, just to keep it as Byzantine as possible, down here at my delay, I actually, which is my last stage of my guitar signal, I split it. And I send the mono signal at least to my amp, my Vox amp. The rest of the stereo signal comes out of this ditto. All right, so our signal made it from the chaos pad into the interface in stereo and then came from the interface straight down into this ditto looping pedal, which has a volume of its own, which is really cool as well. So that gives me a way to set my pedal loop volume. So I can be looping whenever I want on it. I can loop from the, you know, iPad. I could loop from any of the Chaos devices. They all have a capability of looping in one manner or another. But, uh, or I can loop from the floor. And um, that's my rig. Or at least that's this manifestation of my rig. From floor pedal and instrument